Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Shakura and on this channel we talk about everything that makes me feel beautiful, which is usually fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. And today we have a coach haul. Now you guys, this was supposed to be a coach unboxing, but I just didn't have the patience. As soon as I got them, I wanted to rip into it. Sorry about that. I wanted you to see it when I was seeing it so I get my reaction, but just couldn't wait. So if you watched my last vlog, you saw that I did get two different coach purses. One was from Bloomingdale's um, and the other one was from the actual coach store. So let me just get into what I got and then we'll talk about it more. The first purse I got is the Coach Rogue 25 in taupe. If you saw that vlog, you saw that I was looking at this color. It was between the taupe and um, the peony or not peony. It was another pink color that I was trying to decide between. I loved that pink color, you guys, but I don't think that I would have gotten enough wear out of it. This taupe color can be worn with so much. It's a neutral and it's like perfect for spring and summer. So let me show you what's in this bag really quickly and we will talk more about it. The size is almost perfect, you guys. It does look bigger than what it really is, but let me show you what's inside and then we'll talk about that. So in these little pockets here, I don't have much. In fact, I only had this garbage that needed to be taken out anyway. And in the front, I have my mask, I have my AirPods, and what else is in here? And my keys, my Louis Vuitton four ring key holder. I have my sunglasses. This is a smaller case than I usually have. Usually my Gucci sunglasses uh, cases are much bigger, but this is a skinnier one. I do think though that if I had my fatter cases, it would not fit in here comfortably. I also have my uh, lotion, my hand lotion. I have my cosmetic case, my Louis Vuitton cosmetic case that is pretty full. Some gum my um my card holder and that's it all of this fit in here fairly comfortably now i do have room for more i just don't want to make the bag any heavier than what it already is so speaking of heavy this bag is not light <laughs> it is comfortable because you have three different ways that you can wear it the top handle the crossbody, or it comes with these two straps. Then hold it like this um, over your shoulder. I am not a biggest fan of that. I don't really like how that looks personally. So I'm probably not gonna get much use out of these straps. And what I like about this purse is that it is classic with all this extra stuff on it it just takes away from that look to me so i probably won't be using those straps but they're there if i need them i love the leather on this you guys it's coach it's i believe from the traditional or the 1941 line if i'm wrong please correct me but that is where the good leather is like it's just, i'm so happy to have this color it's beautiful i love the the coach um little tag here it's just classic right it's a bag that won't go out of style this kind of bag, little top handle bag, is always something that is gonna be around. Right now, on the Coach website, you could get it either in black, which is beautiful, I just don't need any more black purses, or you could get it in this beautiful green color, which is also gorgeous. I just don't know um, how much wear I would actually get out of it. So I wanted to make sure that I got a bit of a neutral color so that I could have fun with it and wear it as much as I want and not have to worry too much about clashing colors. The leather on this, you guys, is just outstanding. I don't know where I've been um, as far as coach is concerned. I think like everybody else, I just stopped paying attention to the brand when their designs just faded and it was horrible designs. <laughs> um, but now I'm looking at the brand again and really, really enjoying it. So that's the Coach Rogue 25. Let me show you the next purse that I got. So if you watched my vlog about two months ago, if you haven't, I'll put it up here. You saw that I took you all to the Coach store because this purse came out. 
Um, I was very unsure about the purse and even asked you guys if you thought it was too trendy or if it was weird. And the majority of you said that it was trendy and it was kind of weird. But I kept thinking about the purse because there was something about the purse that I liked. And then there were things about the purse that I didn't like. But before we go any further, have you subscribed yet? I know there are other videos about the pillow tabby on the internet right now, but you have sat here and you've chosen to watch mine and that is just fabulous. All right, so let me get into the tabby and tell you what I did and what I didn't like about it and what changed my mind. So I completely understand if you still think that this purse is odd, totally get it because it kind of is. It's this weird puffy. Uh, um, design it has a big C on the front and it just seems too trendy right but then as I kept seeing it over and over again something just said you have to try this the start with the first kind of thing that is kind of trendy and kind of strange about it right it's puffy coach is really known or used to be known for its classic really good sturdy purses this purse is very very trendy with the rise of purses from bottega and even chanel ysls all these high fashion designers have a puffy purse and i don't hate any of them in fact i like the Chanel, I love the YSL, and I always, you guys hear me always talk about Bottega. So why didn't I like this purse? The other thing that I didn't like about this purse, and I kept saying that it was strange, was that there was a big C here, and I kept saying, I don't want that, I wish the C wasn't there, I wish the C wasn't there. But then I found myself looking at some Chloe purses, that some of them have a big C for Chloe. And then I was looking at some Chanel purses and they have huge CCs, double CCs on the purses. And I'm thinking to myself, why do I hate this C and not those Cs? I mean, a C is a C, sure, it does look different, but is the reason why I didn't like it is because it was coach? Um, but Chanel's okay and Chloe's okay? I don't know. I had to kind of reevaluate my thinking and really ask myself why didn't I like this purse? Because if this was another brand, I think I would have been all over it. I would have loved it. It is very trendy. So if that's the reason why I don't like it, that's one thing. But if you don't like it because of the branding, just give that a give that a you know a little think. <laughs> give that a thought. I did get this in the beige color. That's another thing. I do love the pink and I do love the green. I just wasn't sold on it just because um, I don't know how much wear I would get, get out of it. And this is a little bit more attractive to me for whatever reason. Some people, I did hear some people say that it's giving them Fendi baguette vibes. And I understand why they would do that because it is kind of shaped like a baguette. Um, I would not compare it to the Fendi baguette. Um, just because Fendi is not the only brand that has a baguette. You could get a baguette from H&M and Forever 21 at this point, right? But it is a baguette style, which is very trendy right now. So let's look on the inside of the bag. I haven't worn it. I don't know how much space is in it, but I will tell you guys this leather is impeccable. Just like Coach is known for. And this bag <laughs> This bag is mostly puff, whatever's inside they use to puff, then there is space. There's just not that much space in here. There's not, let's see what fits. My phone, because I'm always gonna need my phone. Um, my card holder, because I'm always gonna need my money, honey. Um, my lotion, my, um, my cosmetic case is surely not gonna fit on there, so I'll keep that. Um, my gum my keys, <clears throat> my sunglasses case would not, well, let's see. Maybe if I do some rearranging, if I do some rearranging, my sunglasses case could fit in there. My card holder and my lotion. And that kind of makes it pull right there. So I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't fit that much. You see this pulling here? I don't feel comfortable with that. So I would either, I need my lotion. So I would either hold my phone or I would hold my sunglasses. Most likely hold my sunglasses because that's a big, big case. Um, and I don't like to put my sunglasses in my purse without a case because I don't want them to get scratched. So let's look. That closes much better. 
Oh, you guys, the leather on this is crazy. That clothes is much better and I like it. So yeah, guys, I totally understand why you would think this is a strange purse. I get it. Y'all curse me out about the platform, about the Gucci platforms. Um, and you can have your opinion, but I actually really do like this purse. I didn't know if I was going to keep it. And initially I got it because I wanted to um, try things out. You know, I like to test things out, but I think I like it. No, I know I like it. This bothered me at first. Like I said, right now, not anymore because it could have been Chloe. Chanel doesn't bother me. Why does the coach bother me? I'm actually a little ashamed that that did bother me for several reasons. One, I am a self-proclaimed fashion girl. Not only am I formally um, trained in fashion, I went to school and have a degree, but I like research of hours and hours of fashion history and fashion marketing and just everything related to the subject. Um, and like I said, I went to school for it. So I know fashion is not just high fashion. And I also know that the reason why uh, brands like Chanel and YSL are so sought after is because the way that they placed themselves in the market. So though YSL might be a beautiful bag, and I'm actually thinking about getting a YSL for my birthday in June, <laughs> why they have beautiful bags, their leather or their quality is not always better than contemporary brands. We are paying for the name. We just are. And though I am okay with that, I have to know because I will be paying paying for the names i'm not gonna lie to you i have to know that fashion is more than fashion it just is if you call yourself a fashion lover you have to love fashion unless you're just a high fashion lover which is different um and i don't have that luxury to only love high fashion i just don't so anyway guys this is um my two new purses from coach i am going to lean off of coach for a while even though i love the beat bag who knew i this is all new to me I love the beat bag. <laughs> I have never seen it before. So I'm like, should I get that? Um, I don't want to do too much more coat shopping. Cause like I said, on my birthday, I'm looking at either getting a YSL, um, Lulu or a Givenchy Antigona, um, in June. So I don't want to put all my money to contemporary brands when I do know that I want a luxury handbag for my birthday. But yeah, guys, I urge you to not only look at the luxury market but to look at the contemporary market they have some beautiful things in fact which is actually kind of interesting slash annoying slash funny is um with this particular bag it's now all over instagram whereas two months ago when i was doing that vlog not very many people knew about it right um i've seen um victoria from in the front row in the fro, I'm sorry, and Victoria from In the Fro had this purse. I saw that Britney Pockets and Bows, she ordered this purse, and there's a few other influencers. It's all over. If you literally, if you, if you hashtag this purse, influencers, everyone's talking about it. Now, I don't know if Coach sent them the purse or what, but I do know that I like it. <laughs> I do know that I like it and we cannot always depend or we shouldn't always depend on what we see on the internet to know what we like. If we like it, we like it. And I love y'all, but if y'all don't like it, that's okay because I like it, <laughs> right? So if you see me on the street with my little contemporary coach purse, you know what's up. Anyway, you guys, that's it. It was a really quick, short video. I just wanted to show you what I got. I wanted you to start to kind of open your mind to other brands outside of the high, high fashion brands. Like I said, I'm not not going to be buying them. I still will. I love fashion, but I just love high fashion to low fashion. And there's nothing wrong with a contemporary bag, despite what YouTube and Instagram and the world and what the world has told you. So that's it that's my spiel if you enjoyed the video like comment subscribe share the video and i will see you in my next video